Welcome to Hong Kong. We've been traveling now for a good 14 hours and we've got another five to go. Next up is Manila in the Philippines. We're going to play there, uh, I think it's Thursday night, and then we're going to fly to Taipei in Taiwan to meet up with Zoe and we're playing a big Halloween party over there. After that we're heading to Seoul in Korea and after Seoul we're going to go and travel around China. This is the point when you really realize that you've come to the other side of the planet. I was just on the phone to my friend in, uh, in London and it's snowing over there. Here, probably 90% humidity and maybe 32 degrees. It's boiling hot and it's in the middle of the night. So uh, let's see what else we're gonna see. The funny part is, you know, Filipinos there, like you're talking about, it's a 92 million population. So 65% uh, basically of uh, those people are the poor, the low class community. 65% um, of that one are single moms, sad to say. And, um, you know, the um, AB class people here is basically just uh, between, you know, 30 to 32%. Those are the people that can afford, you know, to uh, to come to our gigs and to come and watch uh, above and beyond. Above and Beyond Radio Show, Trans Around the World, started, I think, uh, around, um, I would say, uh, four months ago, four or five months ago, in every city, that's a total of 12 cities around the Philippines, so when we are broadcasting the Above and Beyond, basically the whole Philippines listening to it, it's not only one city. You will be surprised, there's people coming from Hong Kong and Singapore. Hello, my name's Tony, I've just come here from South America. So I don't really know what time it is anymore. It gets a little bit confusing when you cross the globe, but uh, we're playing at the World Trade Center tonight, Halloween night in the Philippines. TV. <laughs> After about two hours of sleep, we're now in Taipei here in Taiwan. You three. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's my first time here. I've never been, but you have. What, yeah, what's I came. This whole place about? It was a few years ago now that we came first, John and I. Really, really good. We played in a club that was, I forget the name of the club, was it Go or something? But it was really, really good. Very geek, I seem to remember. And this is the first country I've seen an entire family on one moped. It was a, <laughs> a mum and three kids on one little moped, which I've got a great picture of. Which I always remember. Lots of little motorbikes, actually. And uh, Zoe's going to be meeting us in the hotel, and we're going to go and do a sound check. Um, she's flown in here yesterday, I think. So she can maybe tell us a little bit more about what's happening. <laughs> so we're here in uh, Taipei with the lovely Zoe Johnston. 
who, as many of you will know, is the vocalist and songwriter on No One on Earth and Good For Me. Welcome to Above and Beyond Live. Thank you. We, we've been doing this travelling. We hardly ever really get to see anything because all we do is actually sleep. Mm-hmm. But you've now had 24 hours here. What is Taipei like? Amazing. It's a lot warmer than England, which is a bonus. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's snowing there um, at the moment. So. People are really warm and friendly and it's really nice. I'd like to have longer here, actually. Two hours of sleep, 20 minutes to have a shower, then the rehearsal, and then being in bed. Sedong in Seoul, Korea. We haven't had breakfast stroke lunch yet, so take your pick. I think there's some kind of free drinks giveaway. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the beverage in question is, but it looks to be some kind of powder-based drink. At least in this restaurant, you really know what you're going to get before you go in. Look at that. First question, uh, what are the New Year's greetings in your country? New Year's. New Year's mm. green teas. Greetings. Greeting. Oh, greetings. Uh, uh. Well, we used to say, you know, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, or in Finnish, uh, you say, Hyvä uutta vuotta. I can write it down for you if you want. Right, okay. Hyvä <laughs> Yeah, that was quite funny. We just got stopped by a bunch of university students for a quick Finnish lesson on the streets here in Seoul. Pretty much my worst culinary nightmare. I was just saying how amazing it is to come to a hotel that's properly equipped. I think every self-respecting hotel has to have one of these. And this is an emergency window escape kit with a rope and the harness so you can abseil down. I think we're probably in about 20 feet floor, so this would be quite an escape. <laughs> 